KFLOP's independent motion commands now feature advanced third order motion blending. Optimal motion trajectories from initial conditions to a target destination with constraints of velocity, accelerations, and jerk. Up to seven trip states may be required to perform any arbitrary motion. Each trip state involves a third order trajectory motion. Each trip state consists of a time period of constant jerk, either max positive, max negative, or zero, which causes the acceleration to ramp up, ramp down, or to remain constant. Ramping acceleration results in a parabolic velocity and a cubic position trajectory. This example shows the simplest case, beginning with zero acceleration and zero velocity. Ramping up acceleration, constant acceleration, ramping down the acceleration, zero acceleration at constant velocity, ramping to deaccelerate, constant deacceleration, and ramping down the deacceleration to exactly reach zero at the same time as the velocity reaches zero and the distances at the target position. Seven variables are involved to define the desired motion. Two initial conditions, the initial acceleration and the initial velocity. Four constraints of jerk, accelerations, and velocity maximums. And the goal, which is the distance to move. Solving sets of simultaneous cubic equations that interact can involve the solution of quartic equations. In general, dozens of cases need to be considered. In general, accelerations can be triangular or trapezoidal, depending on whether there is sufficient time to reach the acceleration limits or not. Here, as the distance is reduced, the acceleration becomes triangular. Acceleration maximums and deacceleration maximums can be different. In some cases, if the initial velocity is higher than the maximum allowed velocity, then a double deacceleration is required. First to deaccelerate to the desired velocity, and then to deaccelerate to a stop. This program, tripswpf.exe, is a Windows WPF program used for testing the formulas. It's also a good visualization tool to see and understand how the parameters affect the solution. Each set of problem parameters can be saved in an XML file. And the check all button will check all files in the directory are properly solved correctly. That's it.